Hey traders, Raggy here, broadcasting live from the Austin Mentorship at the uh, Texas HQ for Simpler Trading. It's been a, a great couple of days, got to meet quite a few of you guys that are here. It's awesome to put a face to the name in the chats and uh, quite a few of, you, a few of you in the live stream. It's It's been great. We're getting ready to do the poker night tonight. A lot of great trading lessons to be gleaned from poker. I'll, I'll be sure to fill you guys in on all that tomorrow. Let me bring you up to speed with what's been going on in the futures markets. Busy, busy day for me and uh, really great content that I wanted to share uh, in the premium video, I'm going to bring you guys up to speed to some of what is brewing for the week, including including some follow-up to my trade of the week. If you haven't checked out this trade of the week for Simpler Trading, you can find it on our Facebook page. You can find it on simpleroptions.com. Uh, I'll make sure I uh, post it on my Twitter feed at uh, twitter.com forward slash Roggy Horner. And uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about TLT and uh, the UUP, the bonds and the dollar. All right, let's get to, get to some of the intraday trades that we took today and some of the insight we're getting into the NAS. Now, the NASDAQ on Friday, gosh, I was on an airplane. So I'm flying and the NASDAQ sells off over 200 points from head to toe. Now, in terms of the panic that that oftentimes triggers, I get that. But here's something I need you guys to know. One daily price movement range in the NAS is 51 points. That's a typical upper end daily price movement range. In other words, 68% of the time, if we're going to have a pretty busy, crazy day, we're going to see about 51 points in the NAS. We had 200 plus on Friday, which meant it was a four times plus daily price movement range way 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 above normal and my expectations are that it's unsustainable now what I want to see is the wick left behind this, this is no guarantee but if the candle doesn't close heavy what does that mean if the candle doesn't close near the lows if we don't have the body of the candle sitting at the lows I'm gonna look for a little bit of a bounce in the next session but this was over the weekend right lots can happen so a little trickier there but I was still looking for a bounce in the NAS so I kept my long position now that long position got tweaked a little bit more so what ended up happening is I had to take my medicine at the end of the day that's what we do but I re-entered the NAS nimble short term rather than taking the NAS on the daily again where there is not the market trend clarity any longer I look for the roll to the upside this is a 15 minute wave reversal. So some of you might think, well, Rog, you do trade an awful lot of daily time frames. And that, my friends, is very true. Okay? I have I have, you know, my preference is if I'm gonna put a trade on, I'm really going for some daily price movement range mojo. I'm not really looking for short, quick hits. Hourly price movement ranges are fine, but I'm really looking for those daily price movement ranges as far as upside targets. And at the end of the day, you know, that, that's what's going to get my attention. But there are times where intraday rollovers like this can be insight into the longer term support resistance that I'm looking for and can bring tremendous opportunity. So the NASDAQ rollover on the 15 is an intraday opportunity that I'm taking into the Asian session. Let me show you another trade here. This is the Nikkei. This is these are things that are happening now. Okay, I don't want to sit around telling you what has happened. That doesn't teach you anything. In the, even in these recap videos, these free recap videos, I'm still going to show you things that are happening now because proof's in the pudding. You can watch these trades as they unfold, right, and learn something from them. So, Nikkei is a trade that we have long now from 19,000. Let me show you the daily time frame here, what we sunk into. And these were levels that we've been talking about for days. 19,805, 19,803, defending that major psychological level. Well, if you're uncomfortable with that, and by the way, the NAS was the heads up that we could see a little bit of heaviness in the U.S. equities markets. We inherited a little bit of a bad mood from the Asian session. However, as my NAS reaches that buy on the daily there's also now a wave rollover as this market punches up through 855 so yeah you're leaving about 50 points on the table 
you can wait for that momentum buy and ride that higher, or you can use this as a guidance trade for the longer term time frame. Well, what the heck's a guidance trade? It's a shorter term time frame that will give you insight into the momentum of an existing trade. Is the market trend clarifying? Is the market moving in your direction? What type of key levels is it breaking? This is a wave reversal long position on the Nikkei. So pretty interesting stuff there. All right, so I'm going to roll over and get over, get work, get to work on the premium video. Lots of interesting action in the Canadian dollar. We're getting ready for the FOMC on Wednesday. So for the next 48 hours, I'm not going to be too active in currencies until we get the FOMC. But there's a lot going on on the on the uh, future side of things. I'm going to leave you with soybeans. Okay, Nas Nasdaq and. Uh, uh, S Nikkei and soybeans. What a mix. We have been short beans a number of times from 944. This is now I think the second or no third or fourth time we shorted 944 and rather than hitting that optional profit target we are finally getting that first profit target. Easy peasy 10 points in beans and I am looking for lower lows. The great thing is now we can move our stop to 946. So if you want to kind of watch this along with us, see how this this particular narrative unfolds, keep an eye on the daily chart of July beans, the N contract. All right, and that's what's happening right now, uh, live from Austin. And uh, wish me some luck on the poker. I'll see you guys in the next update.